Test of the test rides. Okay, we're doing the Atali GTA Stego TT, and this is the salvage out robbery target. Unfortunately, you can't buy any of these, so let's move on to the test drive. Okay, I like the Grotti Italia Stiga TT. Really nice car, handles well, performs well, drives well. It's it's a really really nice car, and it also looks good when it's upgraded. I've upgraded it twice, and I've upgraded it with Kurt, I think. So, I I, I think this car is really good. I think you should get it. Okay, so the Domino GT. I've actually upgraded this car before, so I would say go for it. But and and this car has some pretty good handling, turning, braking. Everything about the car is great. So yes, I would actually recommend this car. And by the way, this is a Domino GTT, and you can find it at the Salvage Yard. But you can't buy this car from the Salvage. So you might have to find it off the website or something. Anyway, uh, Dick and Ballista can join next. Okay, the Dinka Blister Kanjo is at the Selfridge, so you can't find it 
Oh, you can't buy it. I, I, you might be able to buy it like off the phone or laptop or website or whatever you want to call it. But this car is actually not bad. Okay, I've had no problems driving any of these cars so far, so they've actually been pretty good. Now, I've heard this car is actually a front wheel drive, and I. Well, it actually is a front wheel drive. Anyway, so I guess if that's one little concern you have, maybe you don't get it, but. Other than that, the car does look alright. It looks. It performs well too, so. Uh, yeah, I would say go for it. Okay, this is a Stinger. I don't like this car, guys. It can't take corners well. It brags horribly. It, don't get it. Just, just don't get the Stinger. This car could also be found at the Alice car meet. Okay, you do not have to be a smart guy to know what this car is, but in case you don't know, I'm going to say it anyway. It's a Pegasi Infernus, and I love this car. Okay, so I'd suggest go for it. You guys, know, you guys already know it. I love old cars, so yep, yeah, I'd say go for it. This is the Alice Kami, by the way.
Okay, this is called the Albany Alpha. I don't know what to say, but this car didn't... I didn't crash this car. And, and you know that's rare coming from someone like me. So this can be found at the Alice Car Meet. So I'd say go for it. It, it performs well, it handles well, it breaks well, the turning is good. I honestly would recommend it. I can't see any downsides to it, so go for it. But don't make this a top priority. Make it like one of your last purchases if you want to make like one last quick purchase before the end of the week or something. Just don't think you have to get it straight away, you know? It's not um, it's not amazing, but it is it is what it is. This thing can be found at the Alice Car Meet. Okay, I know my driving wasn't great in that one, but I honestly would still recommend it. And this is for Kurt because he likes convertible cars. But yeah, this car is also a convertible. Um, so this car can take corners for it, brakes for it, handles for it. Everything about the car is good. I know I didn't show it in this video, but I was kind of unfocused, really. Anyway, um, yes, I do recommend this car. And... And this is called the Virgo ZX Convertible. It's not a bad car. This is a luxury car. Okay, so I know I crashed, but I still would recommend this car. I like this car. I don't know what it is with the Baller STD, but the car just looks amazing, guys. Get the car. Get the car. It's not a major priority, but I would recommend it. I like this car. So, yeah, I'd recommend it.
Okay, this is a wolf bait. It can be found in Simeon's place. Don't get it. It's a waste of time. Okay, so this is the Deviant. You can find this at some meals place. Same thing with the Wolf Bane, which was the motorcycle we just test drove. Uh, this car, I like it. I'm not gonna lie, I like the look of this car. And it performs well, it handles well. Everything about the car is good. Unfortunately, it's not a convertible, so yeah, let's just move straight on to the next one. I would say go for it, but it's not a top priority, so yeah. Leave a like if you guys want me to upgrade this thing. Okay, this is a Xenon Classic, and I'm not gonna lie, I would probably not recommend it. I don't like the way it takes corners, so for that reason, no. And I personally don't like the looks of it either, really. I prefer the Sentinel Classic than this car any day, really. Uh, so yeah, I'd, I'd say no, don't get this car.
Okay, this is the Landstalker XL. It's an SUV, and you can find it in the Beyond's place. It's... I'm not gonna lie, I, I wouldn't recommend it. It's not the best car-looking car. It just makes me think, it's just another ordinary car. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest it, really. I'd save your money for something else. Like the next one, maybe. And my prediction was right. The SC1 is definitely worth it. You can find this fight at Simeon's place and yeah, I'd recommend it. Turns well, hand up to it, breaks well. I only have one small criticism for this and it's not even a bad criticism. This thing kind of reminds me of a Cybertruck a little bit, but like a, like a mini version of the Cybertruck. It, 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 it kind of makes me think of that a little bit, but I don't know, when you look at it from this angle, it kind of looks a bit like the Cybertruck, but whatever. Um, let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys, I just have to say one, no, two words. Game over! Don't get this thing! This is the, this is the prize right this week, and you could get it by winning, uh, showing top three, three days in a row. But, nah, I'm, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a rule. Do not get this thing. You are forbidden to get this car. Don't get it.
Okay, this is the party vehicle this week. This is the BR8 uh, open wheel race car. Uh, yes, I would absolutely go for this car this week. Go for this car. Just go for it. That's all I gotta say. Go for the car.